Hey there and welcome. My name is Carlos Beres and let's start talking about what has been going on in the indie tabletop RPG scene. And as always, I'm not being directly sponsored by anyone mentioned here unless explicitly said or mentioned otherwise. Some links, they may be affiliate links so that it can benefit me without cost you anything extra. And all the links, they will be in the description together with some timestamps so you can jump to the point of your preference. Okay, so this week we start with Broken Luck by Iku that is now out and it's also available in a physical version on a plethora of different distributors like Exactus Funerals, Rook Press and even directly with the Lost Bay for an European Union customer for example. But more on Broken Luck, it is a supplement for Troika and the first impression is that it looks marvelous. This is the first thing that I thought when I saw it out. It brings backgrounds, adventure sparks, NPCs and more. You are perhaps a holy beast, a minor deity and whatnot, like these kind of things, but the most important thing is that you crossed the gods and you are now an unlucky traveler seeking their secret palace to take revenge and free yourself from these kind of vengeful gods, I would say. It seems very interesting and I am a fan of Troika, so I would say for you to check it out. If not in a physical version, also you have the option of a full digital one as well. But live this week, we also have some very important and amazing bundles. The first one that I would like to talk about is the bundle for Ukraine. That was put together by more than 700 creators in order to aid two charities that are aiding the people in Ukraine during this dire time. First one is the International Medical Corp, the other one is the Voices of Children. These two organizations, they will be benefited by this bundle. The bundle itself has more than a thousand titles that like regularly would cost something around $6,000 or $6,500, something around that value, which is a lot. And you can get them all for 10 bucks and help people that are in dire need. They are not only tabletop games, these thousand titles, but you have at least 300, 300 of the titles that are from tabletop games. And the most important is to be aiding unworthy cause. The money itself, the, it will be uh, split 50-50 for each charity and you still have a bit more or a bit less than a week, I would say, to support it. So you should check the link right away. Another great bundle that is now live is the TTRPGs for trans rights in Texas. Because if you are not yet aware, trans people are under attack in Texas, not just by transphobic declarations of elected politicians, like even their governor, but also on some legislations that are being passed. So, as you know, trans rights are human rights and the proceeds for these but they will also be split between two organizations. The first one is the Transgender Education Network of Texas, or TENT, and the second one is the Organización Latina de Trans in Texas, OLTT. This bundle has almost 500 titles, and it is focused on tabletop RPGs. On top of that, some people and brands that, are, that were unable to add their titles to the bundle itself are also participating in it in another way. You can send them proof of your contribution to get even more rewards. More information on how to do it, uh, how to like send the proof or how to get this extra content is also on the page together with some more information about the two organizations that are being helped uh, on by this bundle itself. So you can see in the bundle page, you have a lot of information just read it there and you will have all your doubts covered. And by as low as five bucks, you can not just get tons of titles from tabletop RPGs, but also help a more than worthy and important cause. That for me, it's just win, win, win. Like you have a lot of titles for as low as five bucks and even more than that, you are helping a great cause. On gems, we have the RPG Latam Jam 2022. And RPG Latam is the Latin American tabletop RPG scene. And this jam has just started and will be open for submissions for one month. Similar to what happened in the previous edition, the jam invites you to create content that relates to one title that was released by a Latin American author. Submissions can be in English, 
Spanish or Portuguese, as you prefer, but it, of course, needs to respect the original game's license. It's, it should be no-brainer, but it's important to highlight that. So, it has just begun, you have plenty of time, just head there and submit you if you want, or just check out the amazing titles and creations that are being submitted to it, or even just get some inspiration and look for the titles that are being used as inspiration for the jam, and you can support the RPG Latin scene just that way as well. On articles and threads, this very interesting read brought by Clayton Notestin on the blurred lines design. The blurred lines design we mentioned in the last video about its creation by Guntiju. But Clayton explores in plenty of detail some choices of the game and from the get-go he let us know that he contributed directly to the game as not just a proofreader but also an editor, so it's out of the way. But it doesn't change the fact that it is a great thread exploring the choices and inspirations of Blurred Lines and it can just not only inform you about this game in particular, but also inform you in when you have another game and you want to check out and get the inspiration and some choices that they may have made, or also even inspire you to see the inspiration that you have and how to put them in your own creations and your own games and titles. Okay, yeah, I really think that you should read and even follow Clayton because uh, he puts a lot of great content and it's a lot of work as well. And last, but certainly not least, Arc RPG, created by Momatos, a creator from RPG C, the Southeast Asian tabletop RPG scene, and that we had already in another interview here. Arc RPG has now an SRD of sorts, because as Momatos put it, puts it, a primer SRD. Besides rules themselves, it provides instructions on how to hack it and how to create your own archetype to which I just love the name, but Archetype is your own version of Arc. It looks amazing and it, on top of that it informs you how to try and change the game and even if you do not want to create an Archetype, it informs you in how you can play Arc in a different way or even create a totally different games out of it. Uh, it's, it's really a good way to frame it like this primer SRD as, as she mentioned. But for today, I believe that's it. If you like the video, like the video, share, subscribe, you know how it works. Let me know in the comments what you are liking about the series, what you are disliking about it, uh, what you would like to see more, uh, what you are, what you think that we are seeing more than enough. Uh, you can buy, pay me a coffee on coffee. you can buy my games on each.io, you can support me in a plethora of different ways or just follow me on the social medias. And I will see you all in my next video. So, see ya!